Today I'm making ep epileps. Epileps. How, how do you how do you say this? Epileps. Epileps. That's a weird name, but that's what we're making. So we're gonna keep going along and making more things for my wardrobe here in the studio because I just don't have that much over there. Like I have a good amount of certain things, but like actual wearable outfits for a particular style of portrait that I'm looking to create all the time, maybe not so much. I have a lot of fantasy, which is great, but I need more. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to make these uh, ballettes. Am I saying that right? So I've looked up on Pinterest a lot of different fun ideas when it comes to how to build this and what it should look like. And I have a whole Pinterest board now dedicated to what I actually want to build. And there are so many ideas that this might not just be a one-time occurrence. I might need to make like five of these in different ways because they're all so cool. And now I want them on all of my outfits. To create this, I'm going to use these little guys here that I actually got whenever I was making a kind of like bikini top that was like more fantasy driven out of foam clay. And instead of just letting me buy like two of these, they came in this giant pack. So now I have all of these and nothing to do with them. And this will be perfect because they literally fit perfect on my shoulder. And it'll be great, they're comfortable, they're soft, so no one's shoulders are gonna be too heavy. Um, lost it. First things first, let's build these spikes. I'm gonna build them out of polymer clay because I kind of want them to be different sizes. So I don't want just like the same spiked size, the whole, uh, I'm gonna call them shoulder pads because that seems like a great name. I don't want them to be the, the whole, the same size over the whole shoulder pad. So I just kinda wanna be able to create my own little thing. So I'm going to use this polymer clay, make a bunch of little uh, spiky looking pieces and get them baked and ready to be put on. So that is step one. All right, so I am trying to decide how I actually want to like have these uh, lay out and if I actually like the pieces that I made for this or if I don't. So here's kind of what we're looking at right now. And I'm just trying to decide if I actually like these or if I want to use something different or just genuinely like do I like my design. Because I have plenty of time that I can change it. I don't want to put it on there and then hate it. So that's what I'm trying to figure out now. I'm just going to keep piecing things together until something looks good. Okay, I think I have decided on how this should actually look. I didn't necessarily think that I was going to like having these on there because some of them bent in really funny ways as they were baking. And now I'm not sure I mind it. I could change my mind when they're all on here because I wanted them to be like straight and pokey. Mind you, I can kind of like break pieces off that are a little too bent, but the short ones came out okay, but the taller and longer ones like all bent to the side. My plan is to take all of these little gems here and place them all along the outsides to create a very nice, very sparkly little ep epaulette. Ep I still can't get it, I practiced the whole night. So I know that these little jewels here are actually supposed to be sewn on, like they have like the little spots on them so you can sew them on, but I'm going to cheat today and use a hot glue gun because for some reason anytime I hand sew something, my hand cramps up so much and I just don't feel like having that happen today. So I'm going to glue them on. This could be a terrible idea and they could fall right on off and then maybe one day I'll glue them on, but today, or sew them on, but today I'm going to stick with hot glue. All right, I think my hot glue gun is ready to go, so I'm gonna get to going. We have a small problem. And that is the fact that I thought that this amount of gems was going to cover both of these pieces and it has only covered half of one. And I do have like other gems, but they look different. I'm gonna set this one aside and I'm going to come back to it. I also am going to come back to it because I really want, instead of this, I think I want like silver studs, like long silver studs. I think that's what I want to put here instead of these. 
So I'm going to make some changes here and I will post all of these changes on my Instagram if you are interested in seeing it. So that means I need to come up with a second idea. Unlucky for me, I think I've got that idea. Essentially, when I was coming up with all of this, I had two ideas I was kind of bouncing back and forth between. And I guess because I ran out of the pretty jewels, I'm gonna go with that first idea. But I think my first step is that I need to cut out the pieces that will go down on the sides, like all the little fringy bits. Um, so I have this paper that I got from Michaels. It's reflective. I'm going to set that up on my Cricut and then I'm going to cut out the pieces that will go on my shoulders and get to putting all that together. Also, I only have about two hours to complete all of this. So I'm going to get started on all of that and I will catch back up with you when I have some of that done. I might have cut these too big and I'm gonna have to recut a bunch more, which isn't good, I'm running out of time. All right, so everything is ready to go. I have both pieces ready. I basically took some EVA foam and I put it on the bottom and then covered it with like this leathery, pleathery uh, material that I've had kind of in storage for a really long time. And then what I'm going to do is take these little silver studs and I'm going to place them all around the outside. And then after that, I'm going to take these little moon pieces and bring some like fringe pieces down from the sides and then hang these moon pieces from that fringe. And then I'm going to take some of these, whoops, some of these little metal chains and I'm going to connect them from one side to the other side. I don't know if I can get all of this done in time, but that's, that's the plan. I'm going to get started punching holes in this and getting this all studded and then we'll see where we can go from here. I have a feeling I'm not gonna be able to get it all done. <laughs> Wish me luck. Both of them are studded and ready to go. The next step is to take this and make a bunch of tassels and this is where I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time. So what I think I'm gonna do is cut a piece of paper and then make it the length of the tassels that I need to do so I can just cut it straight through. That way, hopefully, it'll be easier to get everything the same length and then I can just glue everything on here. So that's the plan. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully it works, let's find out. All right, so I think my plan worked pretty well, actually, to get all those the right size. And so I think that is gonna look pretty cool. I probably need more than this, but I figured this is a good start. What I'm gonna do, I think, is flip this upside down and I'm just gonna put some glue here. I'm just gonna start putting the tassels in the glue, so hopefully they stay. This could look terrible, we'll find out. It's officially time for me to leave, but I'm gonna try and finish this up. Hopefully it can make it happen. So I'm officially here, both of these are finished. I think I might have to take the moons home and do that, but to, before I leave, I wanna at least get the bottom covered. So I have some felt here, and I am just gonna cut an, a felt piece that matches this piece so that I can just glue it to the bottom and hide all of this craziness going on back here. So I'm gonna cut two of these and glue them on and then on top of that, I'm going to add these little like pin pieces so they can be connected to like clothing. All right, so I have both of these ready to go. I cut it a little too big, so I might need to shrink it down just a little bit. I didn't wanna cut any of the pieces before I stuck it on there. All right, let's get this glued on. I feel like I'm like in a weird race. Maybe I would be good at one of those like crafting shows where you have to like craft quickly because you're under pressure. That's crazy long. I might have to adjust that bottom chain length. It is time for me to skedaddle on out of here, but I'm super excited that I actually finished this and got this mostly all finished. I'm gonna take it home and finish up shortening that chain and then adding the little moon pieces around. And then I will share with you what it looks like in a final result. But while I'm still here and talking to you, why don't you go ahead and leave me a little comment and tell me if you like this 
better than where the other one was going because I think this is pretty cool. So let me know your thoughts below in the comments and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.